The Tower of London is a historic castle on the north bank of the River Thames in central London, and has played a prominent role in English history. It was besieged many times and controlling it has been important to controlling the country. The tower has served variously as an armory, a treasury, a menagerie, the home of the Royal Mint, a public record office, and the home of the Crown Jewels of England. The zenith of the castle's use as a prison was the 16th and 17th centuries, when many figures who had fallen into disgrace, such as Elizabeth I before she became Queen, Sir Walter Raleigh, and Elizabeth Throckmorton, were held within its walls. Despite its enduring reputation as a place of torture and death, only seven people were executed within the tower before the 20th century. During the First and Second World Wars, the tower was again used as a prison and witnessed the executions of 12 men for espionage. After the Second World War, damage caused during the German air raids was repaired, and the castle reopened to the public. Today, the Tower of London is one of England's most popular tourist attractions. Under the ceremonial charge of the Constable of the Tower and operated by the resident Governor of the Tower of London and Keeper of the Jewel House, the property is cared for by the charity Historic Royal Palaces and is protected as a World Heritage Site. The Tower of London is also known as one of the most haunted places in the world and has many ghosts that haunts its grounds. Some of the ghosts include Guy Fawkes who was taken to the Tower of London after his part in a plot to assassinate James I at Parliament in 1605. He was subjected to intense torture, likely on the rack in the White Tower dungeons. Anne Boleyn became the second wife of Henry VIII when he broke with the Roman Catholic Church to set aside his first wife, Catherine of Aragon, and become the supreme head of his new church, the Church of England. Three years later, Anne was accused of adultery and taken as a prisoner to the Tower of London. Anne was beheaded on Tower Green and laid to rest in the Chapel Royal of St. Peter ad Vincula, the parish church of the Tower of London. A headless Anne Boleyn has been seen in the chapel. While imprisoned in the Wakefield Tower of the Tower of London, Henry VI was murdered at the altar in the King's private chapel in 1471 close to midnight. Henry's ghost is believed to haunt the Wakefield Tower, appearing on the stroke of midnight. Sir Walter Raleigh was sent to the tower no less than three times. Explorer Sir Walter Raleigh was imprisoned by both Elizabeth I and James I, spending over 13 years in the tower during one confinement. Sir Walter Raleigh's last imprisonment at the Tower of London, in the Beecham Tower, took place in 1603, before he was beheaded outside the Palace of Westminster. The beheading of Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury took place on Tower Green, which lies to the west of the White Tower. She was brought to the scaffold by Henry VIII for the crime of being the mother of Cardinal Pole who opposed Henry's self-created position, as supreme head of the Church of England. Eyewitnesses say the executioner on the fateful day in 1541 was a wretched and blundering youth who, unable to perform a clean execution with his axe, instead hacked at Margaret Pole's head and shoulders. Lady Jane Grey is known as the English Queen with the shortest reign. Protestant Lady Jane Grey became Queen after the death of King Edward VI, son of King Henry VIII. Edward named Lady Jane Grey as his heir in his last will, over his half-sister Mary. A pawn in royal power games, the King's protector John Dudley had arranged for the 16-year-old Lady Jane Grey to marry his son, Lord Guilford Dudley. On Edward's death on July 6, 1553, Lady Jane Grey became Queen, a title she was to hold for just nine days before the Council decreed that Catholic Mary was the true ruler of England. Lady Jane Grey and her husband Dudley were executed on the infamous Tower Green in 1554. The white figure of Jane is said to haunt the battlements of the Tower of London to this day. Arbella Stewart, cousin to Elizabeth I was imprisoned by James I for marrying William Seymour, nephew of Lady Jane Grey, without royal consent. Seeing this match as a possible threat to his throne, James placed Arbella under arrest at the tower, where she either refused to eat or was purposefully starved. Arbella's ghost is thought to stalk the Queen's house. On the death of Edward IV, Edward's young son, 12-year-old Edward became King Edward V, under the protection of his uncle, the Duke of Gloucester. Wanting to take the crown for his own, the Duke of Gloucester imprisoned Edward, and his young brother Richard in the Tower of London. 
After declaring young Edward illegitimate, the Duke of Gloucester became King Richard III and Edward and Richard were never seen again, believed to be murdered at the order of their uncle. The bones of two children were later found beneath a staircase in the Tower of London.